What's up, dudes? It's the Brick Building Kids. We're walking home from school. Yeah. So I have with me Chase and Alex. From Indian Trail. All right, dudes. So we are posting our Big May shout out video. There are 40 channels that we're including in this shout out video. Isn't that huge? Yeah. Yeah, they are 40 cool channels. They are really good friends of the Brick Building Kids. So stay tuned, watch the video. Um, I included links to all the videos in the description to all our cool new friends. So check them out, like and subscribe their uh, and, their pages. And if if you wonder why we're outside because and I have a book bag on because we're walking home from school, you might know us from school. You definitely might. Right, Alex? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so we've been really, really busy lately with baseball and with after school events, so we haven't been posting a lot of stuff. So I'm hoping that we can post some more videos here shortly. But if you want to check us out in not videos, go check out our Instagram page. You can see what we're doing at any time. So without further ado, and, and, and what? And it's almost uh, end of school year. We'll probably have a lot of videos soon because of summer vacation. That's right. Yeah. If you want to know what our baseball scores are at the end of the year, we might do videos of how of what our ending scores are, like how many wins we've gotten and how many losses. But right now, I'm three for three. All right, you hear that? Three for three. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna uh, tune into the videos, and uh, we'll check out these guys on Instagram, like our page, and here we go. Thumbs up. <laughs> Xbox here, of course, from The Fox Blocks, and this time again, we're going to do another Lego Minecraft product review slash opening, and again, as you guys can see, kind of down in the lower left-hand corner there, we got my assistant putting this together, so you guys can kind of watch that being built at the same time as we review this individual set. Now, this set number is 21140, uh, also known as the chicken coop, right? Hey, Jeremy. Hi. So today we went to Walmart. Yes, I will buy a, Le a Lego Minecraft. And, and make sure you watch that other video. We go to that Walmart and buy this. This Lego Mark II. Steve put his cookies on top to be safe? Yeah. That's smart. So what if the bat gets to it? What if the bat gets to his cookie? What bat? There's a bat right here. No, he will watch his cookies. Steve will watch his cookies? Yeah. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. To wipe out half the universe. If he gets all the Infinity Stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. We 
got one advantage. He's coming to us. We have what Thanos wants, so that's what we'll use. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way, it might be really good. Wow. They remember you. Hey guys, DJ Customs of Games here. Today I'm going to be showcasing you guys uh, a custom Lego spawn and Terminator showcase. And I'm gonna get started with the Terminator first because he kinda sucks, like really bad, and I just Alright, so here we uh let me just say I've been wanting to make this figure for over a year. Uh, long story short, on my birthday uh, last year in 2017, I watched the Spawn movie with my dad. And then I'm like, hey, I want to make them. Because at this time, I was not making figures. I took a break from that, and I just got way into video games. Shouldn't be doing that, but I should be doing more things. But I'm back into customizing now. I just made this head a year ago, and that was it. The rest of this was painted about a week or two ago. And, uh, yeah. Uh, when I was painting this, I found out the spawn is really... Yeah, that's it. Um, made a nice little thing right here. And, of course, because spawn is known for such a massive cape, I knew this figure wouldn't be as amazing as you'd want it to be. So, yeah. And this cape isn't that amazing, but it's really the best I can do without making it look incredibly weird. Unless, I, if I, like, use the rag or piece of fabric or something that would just look pretty weird so I'm sorry. Hello and today we are building another Lego set and it's new in the box. It's not in the box but it has a battering i think and it has a cool piece that it's like a shield for the ears and it has a bat girl symbol Finishing 8 4 HD on my camera here. Um, so, this is going to be the first upload of about 13 to 10 different updates for the series. And basically, I will get this end of the way done, and then everything else with rocks will probably be after the entire base is finished. Um, at least the interior and all the walls are built up, um, so I know exactly what height it needs to be. Um, so I have gotten one of these battle packs already, which a review will probably be coming out soon, hopefully. Um. Hey guys, welcome back to another RV video. Today we're going to be 
playing a bunch of arcade games. Take a few, Matthew. No, just take take a few, buddy. No, then, yeah, you don't have to take all those. Okay. There you go. All right, you're good. The Republic. Let the battle begin. Ah, my arm. Master Windu, you're here sooner than expected. In the name of the Galactic Senate, you are under arrest. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? The Senate will... What's up? It's Aqua back here with another video, and today we are doing a review on the Millennium Falcon. And inside we have a general here, can't really pronounce his name, and we have another general right here, sitting in the chair. Ah, actually, he's standing up. He's standing. Up. Please subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Welcome back to Lego Gamer, where today we are going to be reviewing the Star Wars Solo, Solo Wars, Ars Imperial Battle Pack. Not fabulous, but for a $15 set, considering most of these battle packs are absolute crap, this one's actually a pretty good one. You get these really nice prints. These are not stickers. I hate putting these stickers, but nope, these ones are prints. It's really nice. I want to get that with my birthday money. The Han Solo ship. I mean the Manilium Falcon. I always mispronounce that. My apologies. Spoilers for Avengers Infinity War. 
This is set seven six one o two, and a pretty cool torso print. But you can turn his head around, and he goes glowy. Then you can put this blast and this blast on, and that will come into it later. Next up is Groot. Teenage Groot. He is absolutely awesome. Nice green chest. It's a very nice set. And you can fit all of the figures inside. So if you open up the back one, the front one, the roof, Rocket has to go in the front. And he stands on a plate. And he just clips in. The weapons don't really go in, so you kind of just have to chuck them in at the end. So, excuse me for a minute. Then you sit Thor down. He can go in the back or the middle of the interior. I'll put him at the back because it's like. Another video. Now, today in this video, we are doing part three i believe of rushy moon is on the piece what i need and prince the youtuber i went with him to lay the tag and yeah i took this on him straight in the morning it's a blah well, I just want to play around. Um, but yeah. This was more of an update video, so yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about this a very long video, but nothing done. Except for the turret. I've... So you never ever miss a new
make a fine addition to my collection. Not this time. And this time you won't escape. Arjun. two things. One, this panel is from my own collection, so I got rid of that. And then your eel gem, I guess. See, look. You just turn this. Oh, turn it But you really need an ex extra large number. Easily. Because this thing weighs a ton. And the two, this one's really big. And this is, I do a lot of mixed videos, like Lego reviews, I do can do the reactions, and I do vlogs. So, I mean, I could just go Frankie Lego, or Frankie Bricks, or Frankie, um, or Frankie Reacts, or Frankie Vlogs, so I did Frankie Productions, that's just my explanation for the name change. But on, on the build-up to the vlog coming out Saturday, um, I thought I would just post this video in between, it's the uh, Lego Star Wars set 4500. Um, set review to Snow Speeder from 2004. So let's get right into it, starting out with the mini figs. Oh. Yeah. These pieces for the guns. So that's interesting. Feature I do like the newer guns better, but it doesn't ruin the aesthetic appeal of the set for me. But okay. So, it has this piece right here, which is printed. All the other times that this set has come out after, it's been a sticker. Um, these wings fold up like this. I don't know why but you need that. You look at the top. There are no stickers on, on this set. That piece is printed. Everything is printed, which is really awesome. So, the wings are identical. So, I'll just show you one of the wings. So, these open up to reveal this piece. 
Same with this side. Cool, and this is honestly my second favorite Lego set that I own. Coming just behind the first Lego set, which you will see in a later video. But now let's get onto the turret. Push that out of the way. Yeah. Moves up and down. Has a little hold thing for the minifig though. Holds it in the back. Oh yeah. It's fragile. And uh, it can spin. Hoorah. Alright, so now let's get on to value. So when this set came out, it retailed for um, $20. Alright? When it came out, $20. And I think that's a very good deal. Now, Amazon, I mean, eBay was having a deal. If you spend $25 or more, you get 20% off. So this was $25. Mr. Crunchy Apple here with a look at the Lego set number 75154. It is age 8 to 14. It is 543 pieces. It is the one and only TIE Striker. Uh, in my video, my Darth Vader transformation, I said I was building this. Well, I just built it and I'm going to review it now. Also, this is not going to be the last of the sets because I do have a Lego City set now. That the other wing is the same thing, only mirrored. Uh, here's the bottom bottom view um kind of looks like that mandalorian fighter from here but yeah this is the bottom view um so yeah, not much to see here but okay, i mean it doesn't look that ugly see it through the helmet and also you don't need an alternate face for this guy um so yeah now next up is imperial ground crew so this is the imperial ground crew he has like two i guess sticks with lights that like you know, you know like the, the same endor helmet mold i could be wrong but yeah, I'm not. I'm 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 like an imperial nerd, but not a rebel nerd, rebellion nerd. So yeah, got yellow stuff there. And you can see he has his gray jacket. He's kind of coming off there. Yeah. He's got a gray jacket, and you can see he has like a pocket and straps, and it looks like ammo cartridges. And then you can see he has um, pockets and straps on his legs too. His back printing, more straps. Um, his gun here is a is two piece gun. It's got a Technic um, peg with a stud on it, and that goes right on to the gun like that. He holds it and he fires it, and yeah, so that's the minifigures. So, yeah, that is the tie striker. I'm holding it like this to get a cool thumbnail. Um, so, yeah, that's the set. Um, it was $40 when it first came out. Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, this is a very cool set. I really like it. I know I say I like all the sets, but like, I really, really like this one. This is one of my favorite Imperial sets. 
So, um, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Purpose here. I have come to speak to your king about the alliance. I will lead you to him. King Elendil, we have a visitor for you. Yes, thank you, Merlin. Introduce yourself. I am Legolas, and I have come to speak for my grandfather, Orfair, about the Alliance. Ah, yes, the last alliance of men, elves, and dwarves. King Elendil, news from Minas Ithil. It has been attacked by Sauron. Oh, no, we must ride to Gondor quickly. Hey, this is the Asian Brick Geek, and in today's video, I will be reviewing LEGO Star Wars set 75208, Yoda's Hut which was released in 2018. This set has 229 pieces and retails for $30 in the United States or 160 ringgit here in Malaysia. So without further delay, let's take a closer look at those minifigures. So here we have the Luke Skywalker minifigure. This minifigure comes with two accessories, his blue bladed lightsaber and this piece which allows Yoda to be attached to it. And it looks like as though Luke is carrying Yoda around like he did in the movie. Very nice. I love that Lego included that piece with this Luke Skywalker minifigure. Now the printing for this minifigure as you can see is very nice, very clear, very detailed. This minifigure comes to be um, meditating and levitating this object. So as you could put Luke over here. Alright, you can put Luke over here and make it look like you uh sorry, Luke is meditating while Yoda watches on like this. So very nice. I really love this feature that they included with this Yoda hut. Very nice. I love this. I actually took a few pictures of it in this pose. Very nice. Now this set also has a number of features. So I just showed you one where it's uh, Luke meditating. Oops has a lot of features and I really love using all of it, especially this one. So here's another front look at the hut. Very nice hut. I really love it. So what's my final verdict for this set? Hey guys, guess who's going on a date? Jay, you are. What? How'd you know? Jay, you are wearing a suit. Oh yeah. One second guys, let me pick up this phone call. Hey Kai, your sister's fine. We'll be back in a few minutes. Bye. I'm the ninja of lightning! That stupid snake can fix this. Great hideout, Slithera. No ninja will come to a stupid junkyard. It's the ninja! Well, that was awesome! Rick Building Kids, it's a YouTube channel. Go check them out. Um, oh yeah, because, um, yeah. Just check them out. And also, we're going to be reviewing the Lego Minecraft Meta Fortress set. And I guess we'll start... Many things. Alex is Alex is looking good. Um, she she has some pretty cool good printing. So it um just fits it very well. Um, face printing's good. The back printing is 
Yeah, like the back one too. And she's just a simple figure and all. She came with um, iron armor, but I didn't want to put that on because it would take some time to put it off, get it off. So yeah, I, I think the wood he just sits there, I guess. And over here, you know, so this is found. That's a feature part you probably know, but when you pull on this, oh, the keeper fell, but this fell off. And there's some fire there. Not much to really say. So, I think that's going to wrap it up. Ah, thumbnail. Right there. Okay, hello guys. Um, it's also, it's also my back today. I'm um, today. Uh, other side, other of, box. side of the box. With uh, other languages or stuff like that. Show. Look at our progress. Look, look, what happened? Look, beautiful. What's your name again? Kira and Han Kyra, Solo. Kira, Kyra, Kuya. Um, take off the engine right here. Um. So a lot of people are saying that this thing is a minifigure, this hound, um, I, I'm not really sure that, oh, yeah, wow. but. Oh, what happened? Oh, uh, uh, Darth Maul? Yep, that's me, and it's time to finish our battle. Uh, I am so mad. How did you get your legs back? Hmm, I can get that lightsaber. I'll get it. We'll finish a fight. Fine. Good, because I'm ready to cross some schools. Yeah! Hmm, what's all that noise? I'll go down. Fuck! It's May 4th. Boring. Oh, come on. Blind bag. After feeling this blind bag, I have concluded that I think it might be the pencil guy, and that's this one here. I don't particularly like the minifigure, but it wasn't my choice because I got this as a gift a while. And he has orange pants and an orange shirt, too. Really would have liked to get any of the Batmans. Again, it wasn't my choice because I got this as a gift. And even though I don't like the figure, I still appreciate the gift. So thank you to that person that got it for me. And let's put it on the minifigure wall now. Alright, so that was a very short minifigure Monday. But thanks for watching anyway. If you liked it, please make sure to click that thumbs up button. Comment down below and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. And I'm here with a new Lego video design of exactly, you know, these things. <laughs> Next up, we have Bruce Banner. Now, this is the second time we've ever gotten Bruce Banner. The first time was in that, was in the Thor Ragnarok sets. Disappointingly, I do not have that set, so this is kind of like that. I kind of think it's a nice mini figure. Nice base, nice hair piece, nice. And I can I don't have problems with my putting in the legs. So can we start over that? I don't know. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Please comment, like, share, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you're excited for the new Infinity War movie that's coming out this Friday. And also, I'd like to give a shout out to Brick Building uh, Lego Nexo Knights Fortress Review. So, uh, as you can see here, the building is it's quite a nice building, but here it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight minifigures, the Ash Attacker, two Scarriers, Mer Target, and a sword that's charging it says, and here's Murloc 2.0, uh, and you can push him this way, this way, and the seats pop open, I really like that is a really nice feature, there are two shields, there, which you can scan them in the Lego Next Night's game, and here is Turkey for Axel, and I'll show you the rest of the minifigures later. And here, as you can see, this steering wheel here actually controls this gun. So, it's actually got a clip on like that. He is absolutely massive. And his top, it's not armour, that's attached to the top. So yeah, Axel is probably the barbarian of the group. Uh, he's big, bulky, strong, and he's very hungry, so that's why the turkey leg which I showed earlier, is in there because that's for playing. And then, obviously, there is the chef of the group, Chef Leclerc. He subscribe, leave a like, and yeah, 
uh, on the channel of everything. I do everything. I'm doing a Lego review on this Lego set, ATM Heist Battle. It has 185 pieces. It's Mass Criminal Hulk one. As you can see, he has this other sweet laser can, so he goes pew. And it's like a do 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 do. Wait, uh, like this. Do 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 do. I'm just gonna use my crazy high tech laser cannon to do this. Who are you talking to? I'm making a video. Okay. And then, like this. Sorry about my mom. And like this. Thank you for watching. By one brick here, and today I'll be revealing. The Lego Batman movie is Scarecrow Special Delivery, set number 70910. So yeah, let's take a look at the minifigures first. So yeah, our first minifigure is Scarecrow. I think it looks really good personally. Show you 360. Has some arm printing and some leg printing. It does have another face, which I will show you. So yeah. And it has the torso print. So this one's just exclusive to this set. So yeah, that is Scarecrow. Then next we have Batman. This version came out in a lot of sets. Like the Bane Tossed Truck, for example. Show you the face. So this is the new tape. You can pull it up. That looks good. Um, If you want to, just fold this up a little bit. It does have a sticker on the back, if you want to see. So anyway, yeah, that is the thing. You can, you can like, detach it if you want to. And the back, it, like, I'll show you on the play features, so. You just pull this, you just move this around, look. Oh. Just fold that out. Here, it looks really good. So yeah, that is your motorbike. Next we have, oh, sorry about that. Next we have... Um, we're on Drift Vlogs today. I am setting up the Death Star to review it on Drift Ricks. It's gonna be amazing. Um, um I got a haircut. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what motivated me to do this was um, definitely brick building kids. Brick building kids. So they said, I asked them if they should, if I should review this beautiful thing beautiful massive thing which is me and they said no i'm beautiful in that <laughs> all right one second guys mom <laughs> and i got the death star already so there's not much to do not much to do i told you what motivated me i don't i didn't show you the box you'll so see there's a box <laughs> I'm the box, I'm so beautiful. <laughs> I can fit Kieran in this box, I'll show you that right now. So I just knocked down like all my minifigures. So um, I'm gonna put those up now. Uh, just one second. 